Uh, good morning, students. So uh, I'm going to do a series of uh, short videos for you uh, now this morning, continuing on. So what I'm going to do today is place this uh, revolving door. Okay, so I've got my revolving door positioned on the um, east elevation, I think, here. And I'm now going to place the revolving door on the west elevation, and I'm going to place it over here. Okay, um, now on the underlay, it might show this somewhere else, but I'm actually going to uh, place it uh, place it there. Okay, um, right, so what do we need to do? Uh, let's get into that uh, elevation, that east elevation here. And what I've done is I've marked its position. Okay, I've used a couple of um, construction lines just to mark the position. What you'll notice as well is that... Um, this particular family does not scale up particularly well, but it's it's quite adequate. So it is two meters wide. All right. So that's the that's the gap that we need to create here. Um, so this line to this line here is two meters wide. And what we need to do now is create a, a panel in here. We're going to create the panel by creating a um, series of grid lines. So I'm going to remove that mullion, just select it and delete it. And you can see that there is a grid line down the middle here, which I'm going to remove. So I'm going to select it, add remove segments, uh, click into that one, and uh, that'll delete the element there. Now, <clears throat> one of the little pains with this one is, and you're going to see this now, because what I need to do is create a grid line here and a grid line here and a grid line up there. So uh, let's go ahead and do that in the architecture tab, curtain grid. Now, uh, the first one I'm going to do is, is this one here. And uh, that's 600 down from the from the top. <clears throat> um, so the uh, revolving door will scale uh, vertically quite well, but it doesn't scale horizontally all that well. Now, I'm going to leave that grid line there. I actually quite like that uh, because these are very tall panes of glass. Okay, now the next one is a difficult one because um, we're going to go back into here and we're going to do uh, the curtain grid. And I'm going to pick uh, this this line here. Now, what's what's going to happen? That grid is going to run the whole length of the building. So it's going to delete my <coughs> panels and replace them with glazed panels. Okay. Uh, now, I don't know a way around this. So in the meantime, I'm going to escape, escape. I'm going to pick that line. I'm going to add, remove segments. I'm going to remove that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay. Now, so I'm back to uh, kind of where I was down here. Uh, now, to save myself from having to do that again, all right, here's my grid. So I'm actually going to select it and copy it. And I will copy it across uh, onto that position there. Okay, and I'll just get rid of the, um, the construction lines that I had here. Uh, now, if I wanted to get rid of those two lines there as well, look, I can... Uh, select and go add remove segments and i'll just remove that segment there okay and then i'll come over here to this one and i'll go add remove segments okay and I'll click in there now so here's my panel okay um <clears throat> what i'll do in the meantime is um i'll go over to my modify tools and i'll use the match type properties and i'm going to tab into this one and I will replace all of those units like so with my match properties. All right, so that didn't take too long to get that back to, uh, to where it should be. Um, okay, so escape, escape. Now, uh, the next thing we need to do is get the revolving door into uh, the project. So it's file, um, open, family. And this one lives in curtain wall panels, okay? Curtain wall panels, and there's the revolving door. So you hit, uh, open, let's open that, and you will uh, just uh, load it into the project and close, okay? Now I already have it in there, so um, I'll pop it back in. Um, I'm gonna put in the, um, uh, I'm gonna put in the mullions now while I'm here, all right? Um, so, uh, I will go file. Um, I'm going to have to do a part two on this one here, so just bear with me. 